Good morning and hello world. We are out of our campsite here today. Plan is heading towards Thunder Bay. We've got a big waterfall to head up on the way. We enjoyed our stay here. It was our nice, it was a nice little Ontario lake to stay on. Lots of mosquitoes in the end though, and we saw two ticks. One on my pants in the RV, super not cool, and then one on the fishing kit. So, we were a little deterred when they had the bad weather, mosquitoes, and ticks, but still caught that one little yellow perch, I believe it was. And hopefully more fishing to come in the future here too now. So, let's hit the road guys, and get on our way. We really need to find a laundromat today because it's been far too long without doing laundry. We need to, well I need to edit the video and get that up today. And we need to go to the gym later on tonight. Woohoo, mm -hmm, and shower. Yeah, and get our free shower in and our anytime fitness. So, busy, busy day, but we'll take you along with us. We're temporarily pulled over at a little rest area here. Alicia's gonna get some of the editing done quick here. So I am gonna try and cast and retrieve a few in this lake and see what happens. Fingers crossed. <coughs> I want to try my husky jerk rapala out here, but it, that was the one I was saying is one eighth ounce. My rod's meant for one quarter ounce, so it might not cast too well in the wind, but attempt one. A pike? Look at this thing. I oh. think it's a pike. I'm gonna oh. have to double check. I've never caught one before. Come here, buddy. Oh. I don't know. They look like maybe a little teethy. Oh no. That's big. That's a decent size, yeah. Alright. Alright, here he is. A fish. Alright, let's get him back. <laughs> Ready everybody? Bye, Mr. Fish. Thank you. Bye. Woo! That's a little better than that yellow perch I caught the other day, but... Or no, I think that was a pike. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... He must have been like forearm length, at least put in a half or something. Yeah, probably. I don't know if they're gonna eat him, but... Catch and release. Woo! Alrighty. I'm pretty satisfied with that catch. Nothing else after. I tried for a little bit longer and... Talk to a friendly fellow who's doing Quebec City to Vancouver. He's doing the opposite direction that we are right now and he's doing it out of his SUV it looks like. So, way to go that dude. Go make some lunch now, go see what Alicia's doing and call that a success. Still wanna check over that fish footage for myself to see it better, but I think that was a pike. And he was probably up to my elbow at least. He was a good bit past maybe foot and a half, I would say. Let's go review the tape. Ugh. Back out fishing after lunch. And I just had another pike. It must have been just a little ways out there only. I went to go set the hook. I thought it was it and not any lily pads I've been snagging. Sure enough, it jumped into the water and spit the hook. Let's see if we can get lucky again, guys. Hey, he spat out my lure, but I got him the second time. <laughs> Fish number two here. Nice. Check him out, guys. This guy's tame. He's like spotted and he has like a big beak thingy. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm bad. Oh, I'm bad. Are you okay? Ouch. He's free at least. <laughs> it's in my hand in multiple places. How Ouch. can I do it? I don't know. It's bad. <laughs> okay, don't want to just get him. In the water, yeah. Um, alright. Back to me. <laughs> hey, everybody. Okay, so I'm hooked pretty good. But he's free, so Alicia's gonna return the fish back to the water. <laughs> Here, and then we're gonna down. sort out this mess. Bend down, bend down. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Later, dude. Bye. Sorry about the, this situation. <laughs> mm. Here. Oh, oh. Nasty. 
Oh, they're just little hooks, but they still had the little teeny barbs on, so they were pretty much all the way in. Fish number two, <laughs> let's go. You okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty good. It's just started to bleed a bit now. Let's go get a band-aid. <laughs> hey, two fish in one day, that's pretty good so far. <laughs> oh, I smoked that, and the one bite. This is a good fishing day besides that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I learned from this lesson yet. I'm gonna learn from this. So while we were fixing up Luke's hand, Kitty was in her regular spot down by the screen door. These people walked by with their dogs and the one lady turns and goes to her friend, oh my god, you have to see what's in this door here. <laughs> and they looked at Kat and we had a little conversation, but she's been quite the draw on this trip with people just seeing her in the RV and loving her, so. It's really funny. Are you fixing your hook? Yeah, one of my barbs is bent. I don't know if it was the fish or my hand. Oh. Gotta straighten them out again. We are just finishing up with this rest area here at Lodge Lake. But how cool are some of these rest areas? BC has a bunch of really good ones too, so... Good job Ontario for having similar high quality rest areas. We like it. That's kind of the beauty of RV life and living on the road too at least is when we get out to these kinds of areas here, sure, maybe if you have to find somewhere not the greatest to sleep off the road, or if you spend a Walmart night instead of paying for a campground, no matter where you sleep, you can just come to one of these rest areas or parks. Spend your whole day here if you want, more or less. Be, be considerate, of course, and don't go to it every day, but they have washrooms, picnic tables, garbages. I caught two fish so far with just a little bit of time only here, so. Really nice rest area here at Lodge Lake, and if you're on the road, make sure you take advantage of all those rest areas for your day stops. You can just live there. Alrighty, that was a really nice rest stop there. I got quite a bit of editing done and enjoyed the sun a little bit. Oh, nasty. I got peanut sauce on my sleeve. Alright, I'm gonna go wash that peanut sauce off, and then we're heading to... I don't remember the name of the falls. I should really know that. It starts with a K. But we're heading there. It's the second biggest waterfall in all of Ontario. And you know what the first one is. It's Niagara Falls. So we're going to stop there before heading out to Thunder Bay. And yeah, that's the plan. Anything you want to say? Back on the road. Got my driving juice pre-workout juice. We're ready to roll. Alright, let's go. So that's something that we're not used to in BC at least is to go into the provincial parks here, because this is Kakabeka Provincial Park, you actually need to buy a permit for the day or buy a yearly pass to enter any of the provincial parks. So we just paid $5.25 to be here for two hours. It looks really pretty though, so I think it's gonna be worth it. We've arrived at Kakabek Falls. Let's go check her out. It looks like a pretty beautiful place and we can hear the water flowing. Yeah, it's really loud all the way from the parking area, so... Well, let's get over there. This waterfall is so loud! This is a really good waterfall. Nice change from all the flat we've been driving through to have enough of a drop off to have a waterfall and the water. Never know what Canada throws at you. They've got a cool little boardwalk hike too through the forest. Nice little provincial park you got here. So that's a wrap for the waterfall. It was super cool, but it is getting chilly out in the nighttime breeze here. Not nighttime, but it's getting to dusk. Last night we woke, I guess this morning we woke up. It was 57 you said in the RV? Yeah, it was cold. Ooh. Turned the propane heater on, not gonna lie. So we're gonna go maybe hang out on the RV a bit. We got two hours to be allowed to park here. Take advantage of that. Oh, and then oh, there's the breeze. And then it's off to the Anytime Fitness in Thunder Bay before calling it a night there. Yep. Look at this crazy rock. It's like shale. Is that what it's called? Can you snap it? Oh. Yeah, so thin. Oh. Whoa. Done the workout, and we are hanging out in Thunder Bay Anytime Fitness parking lot down here. Full moon tonight, super cool looking out. We are going to go find our Walmart to sleep at for the evening here. But yeah, Thunder Bay, nice town. Let's hit the Walmart. And here we see ourselves again. 
at a Walmart parking lot. One of the tricks to the super center is when you pull in, keep your Wi-Fi finder open on your phone and drive around the parking lot until you can find yourself, oh there's the light, find yourself a good Wi-Fi spot if you're planning on getting any shows downloaded. We're still getting a video finished up and uploaded to you guys tonight. We're working away on her here. And that's where we're going to continue tomorrow morning. So we will see you bright and early, everybody. Join us next time when we get some chores done in Thunder Bay and then head to Terrace Bay and Boondock on Lake Superior's beach.